I really appreciate the PS2 logo screen, despite this, you know, now being PS4 of six. There's gonna be six. I heard, I heard it from a reliable source. We're stopping at six. Yep, that's it. PlayStation 6 is the last one. Get out, yeah, we, we've had enough. Guys, please. Six PlayStations, two portables. That's enough. Eight PlayStations total. That doesn't, that's just the PS1 again. There was the PlayStation X, the PlayStation 1, and the PlayStation Classic. That's enough. Three, three is enough of the same one. PlayStation too much, more like. Get out of here, dude. Hold on. This is loud. There we go. That's a better volume. Alright. I'm fresh. Hopefully I can tolerate... Mm, falling down all the time. No thank you. Yeah, I think I will. That's the thing, is that tower is such a large thing that it feels like the only area to begin with. Mushrooms? And this is still part of the spider cave. Go back and do all that shit. I'm probably gonna have to kill the fucking centipede great. Just took all that time running all the fuck over there. Uh, I don't think I've been to that corner of the cave. I don't know, probably. I'm not used to the fact that the double jump just doesn't work in certain circumstances. Because I assume, I don't know, it'll work like the double jump in literally every other game with the double jump. Where as long as you don't hit the ground, you can jump again. One more time. Okay. Well, alright. That's not too bad. Hit boot. Camera. Camera. Okay. But Corey, check it out. So you can double jump in this game, but if you jump off a surface, you can't jump again if you fall below the surface you jumped off of. So if you double jump immediately, you're good, but as soon as your feet go below the surface you jumped off of, you can't double jump again. And that's so hard to get used to because it doesn't make any sense. The double jump itself already doesn't make sense. If you're implying that it also has to follow by a rule like that, that's... that's too much. No. No. Yeah, but the platforming in this is already really difficult. Like, a lot of the jumps, just like standard jumps, from one platform to another are like way too tight. Like, you can barely make them most times. Like, it's bizarre how difficult they made the platforming in this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Naughty Dog, so I think that's the UK, actually? Yeah, no. Yeah, but with that one, it's like, the, the platforming is like the game, like it is a platformer, whereas this one is like an adventure platformer. So like, the platforming is important, but like, god, you go through like a big, like, section of a level, and then you miss one jump that shouldn't be that difficult, 
And it's like, nope, you gotta go all the way through again. Like with Crash Bandicoot, it's like shorter runs because it's uh, single levels. But having this open world and then also having incredibly difficult like platforming, it's it's pretty brutal for a kid's game. Mm-hmm. Nope. It was just a it was just goo. The thing is though, they have introduced green and blue goos that are the same. I don't See what I mean? That should have been a pretty simple jump. Like this. This is a actually kind of hard jump to do, despite being a pretty standard fucking part of the level. Or like this! You can, but only left to right. You can't go up and down at all. And also, if you push left, it moves the camera left, not the view, the ca like literally the physical camera. So you have to remember it's reverse of pretty much any other 3D platformer you've ever played. Granted, it was in a time when 3D platformers were still kind of new. Well, this is PS. This is PS2. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just far- it's like early enough that I'm like, okay, but like, just late enough that I'm like, mm -hmm, there was enough precedent that you guys could have fucking figured that out. <sighs> Wait, no, I've been over here. Uh, uh, but, uh... <sighs> That's- uh, damn it. Uh, he's an otzel. <laughs> it's an otter weasel, I guess. Coco looked it up at one point. Yeah, it's like he, he has the spinny, and he also has like a punchy move. But the punch is like, it's. I mean, neither of you are gonna get this, but in uh, Banjo Kazooie. It's like, there's the, the, the move where you stand still and hit attack, hit attack, and he just kind of punches a few times and moves like half a foot. Uh, th there's never any reason to use that, because if you hit it while moving, he does a roll that covers so much more ground, and it's just as, a, like, damaging. So similarly, it's like, why would I ever use this when this is so much more fluid? Think, but actually, if you want like any kind of movement ability, this is the one that helps out with the platforming and stuff. It's like the the little flutter at the end in Spyro. And also, there's a roll that I almost never use because it's it's the the, the bumper. Nope. You can't reassign. Literally, you have to use the touchpad for the start button. And when you get in here. Guess what? Circle is options instead of back. Instead of the X button to, like, select stuff, it's always circle and X is actually back out. Which I remember being a big thing in early PlayStation games was that circle was supposed to be confirm and, um, X was supposed to be canceled, but they pretty quickly switched that around. <laughs> Well, that was the original idea, is that it's like, circle is, uh, confirm, X is, uh, uh, cancel, yeah. Triangle was supposed to be, like, first person, which it is in this. And then square originally was supposed to be, like, a map. Like a, like, a piece, like a piece of paper, I guess. But then it's like, oh yeah, we don't have to follow that at all. We can actually just go with what's more ergonomic. I know! I don't... Where? Where's the area? There? Where? There? I thought that's where I came into this area. Listen! It is hard to talk in game. Oh. Hello? Ah, uh, no! Ah, this is a terrible idea! Bad move. Better you than me. 
I just... Yeah, why was that such a thing in, like, a lot of games? Like, this, or Gex, or Bubsy, where designers were like, we're gonna have them, like, talk, talk shit when you die. It's like, that's not... I don't think anyone's ever liked that, for the most part. Oh, I thought, yeah, that was the challenge, you gotta kill them all. Oh yeah, they're coming out of the tank. I mean, they're not too hard. It's mainly hard because the health system is so slow. You have to get 50 of those orbs to get one health chunk. Sometimes now they've introduced the large orbs that just give you a chunk. But for most of the game, those were not there. No, they have not been there. They might have been like... Well, well, then I got the worst luck and they never spawned for like the first chunk here. of the game. No, I swear because I was paying attention to my health constantly and always frustrated that I would die before I could get any kind of health drop or anything. Like I would have noticed if there were ones that just healed you. They're at the very least incredibly more common in this level. Because they're like every other box, whereas before they were like not there at all. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's what that was for. Okay. Okay, well, I got that, but there was a bunch of boxes with eggs. But I need the fire for that. I don't think there's even fire over there. There was like a fire dispenser thing, but it was not going. I'm gonna go back to this and see if there's something. Something to do. I don't know. Oh, no. Uh, it keeps spawning me facing the wrong way. Survive. 
No sun. Ah, get him, get him. That was the last shot I had. Nova, ooh. Oh, I should be dead. Yeah, there's one. I was gonna say, are they really expecting me to do that time? Ooh. It's always interesting to me um, grabbing animations like that when you're jumping up. Because, like, it just jumps straight to the grabbing animation, basically. So, like, the implications that within, like, a single frame, Jack, with his, from his arms at his side, snaps his arms up and grabs. Real fast. Alright. Time to go. So far, it's they dangle down and then they like start climbing around the outside after you hit them the first time. It's, it's been three so far, but also like I was in this area earlier and got him at least once, so it might have just carried over. Egg. Oh, 
hands around the back. SMH. Just gotta make it difficult for me. What is this, some kind of video game? I'm not here for it. It'll never take off. Mark my words. It's a bad investment. Mark them. Egg, egg, no. <laughs> I feel like most of my frustrations with this do come down to just with how it's age, basically. Like, there's so many things that video games do now by standard that, like, are so much more intuitive. And part of that's just because I've been doing them for, like, over a decade. But, like, going back to a game I'd never played and having to figure out its quirks that would have all just been ironed out since, basically. Is, uh, is a little frustrating. It's like, um, it's like those games, like, not quite as extreme, but it's like those games where it's like, it's Mario, but the mushroom hurts you, and the Goomba's a friendly guy. And if you try and jump over, now there's spikes, like, where they're just actively trying to fuck with your expectations based on what you know as a gamer. So it's like a milder form of that, but that's just, like, that's, that's just to be expected. It is a game from an era. It's, you know, it's from a different time. It is fun. When I get into the groove of it, I am enjoying myself. It's like, when it's especially... A, a part that is especially challenging. And yet especially frustrating because my gamer instincts work against me. Plus, now, this is like the latter half of the game when it's gonna get extra ow, when it's gonna get extra hard anyways. So... This is just gonna, this is gonna be most frustration no matter who you are. No! Case in point. <laughs> ah! Sell. Oh, and I gotta run around and grab all these eggs that they dropped. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> Why do I even need to go grab these eggs? You can go down the supermarket, two dollars get you a dozen eggs. What's so special about these ones? They pre-seasoned? Give you a peppery omelet? No! Let's see. Destroy Dark Eco Chris. Uh, I think I saw one of those. Explore the Dark Cave. Did I do that? I don't know. Climb the. Climb the. Gen oh, right. There's the robot in the middle. There's probably some on top of that, huh? And the scout flies. And I got 36 more egg. I'm gonna run around here looking for egg. Yeah, there was. Oh, whoa. Hell? oh wait, I remember where I am. All right, egg. There's egg. Uh, the thing is, I didn't see any flame. There was like a, a one of the pl pads the flames would be on, but they didn't have anything lit. So maybe I gotta do something to activate that. Oh yeah, that was a that was a long time ago. Uh, oh, yeah, and the dark ghost crystal. I got a bust. Alright. Uh, what time is it? Okay, I still got time. I'm gonna put a hard cut at noon. So that we should probably head out like 12.15. There's probably not gonna be any traffic at this time on a... <laughs> on a Monday. It's also gonna be around lunchtime, though. So that's that tends to cause some traffic. But... We should be okay. If, if we give ourselves an air. Ah. 
See, even going from that part of the Spire Cape to here, those those uh, single ones are like way more common. I think part of that is because there's so much more of the like flames and other things that are likely to do damage. Hmm. I'm gonna climb a giant robot now. Because that is a, a distinct role like pump. I don't know, figure out by the cave situation. Ah, no, no! I don't want to use the jump pad though. Because every time I just fall off. No. No, thank you. Excuse me, sir. No, thank you. Hitboxes on these spike rollers are real hard to judge. In general, the hitboxes in this game are very soft. Like, it's, it's really difficult to tell where they are. Especially considering the main collectibles are clouds of goo. Which is, like, very difficult. And I get it. This was, like, a point where resolution had gotten good enough that you can tell that kind of stuff. I'm sure it was, like, a little easier to see on the original graphics because it wouldn't be so you wouldn't be able to see a lot of the whiskey bits it would just look like one kind of general ball of color ah ah mm. this is what i'm saying this is my least favorite level in any platformer 3D platformers that climb up on top of something, but there's obstacles that can knock you down all the time. <sighs> it's like, it's something that we've noticed a lot in, like, um, Mario Maker. Because, like, in Mario Maker, in, like, the really hard levels, it's not the hard parts that, like, really make you mad, it's the boring parts leading up to it. Where it's like, you've already, like, beaten that part, so you just want to be past it. But, like, you know, you don't have a choice. There's no checkpoints or anything. So, like, having to go through these bottom three floors over and over and over again just gets so tedious. And it's like, it's not that I don't think I can do it, but it's like, it's also because I'm so familiar with them now, I'm, like, way less cautious, and I end up messing up more. I just want to get on that robot. Look at him. I just want, I just want to be on this guy, this big old boy. <sighs> so why are there just flames on the pathway? These, uh, these, uh, what do they call them, trawlers? Not very good at the, uh, the whole mining thing. And, dare I say, probably not that great at crafting either. When's the Jack and Daxter Minecraft texture pack coming out? Yeah. Yeah, anything that came out after, like... Anything that isn't a JRPG that came out after, like, the SNES and Genesis... are just never gonna hit that iconic level. That was cool. Sometimes, sometimes the the platforming in this game makes you feel real cool. I'm oh, not a stream marker. I like that. Huh? Okay. Here we go. Nope. Nope. No. Ah. I'm all the way back down here. On top of the giant robot, there's supposed to be a power cell up there. No, it's. Oh. 
I, I've been up there, but like, I didn't see a power cell. So, gotta find it. In fact, let me survey the situation. Yeah, I gotta get around to there. It's with the spinnies, like, they're fun, but like, they're also really finicky if you don't get in the exact right position when you hit the jump. They can shoot you off in very random directions. Especially when you're trying to go to one higher than you. You have to basically be pointing directly up. While holding back, I've found. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. Right, that situation. Right there, when you jump off the one that goes down, every time, for some reason when I jump over here, it like, jogs me back enough that I just go behind everything. I don't know why it was doing that, but I had to like, s adjust way forward to miss it this time. It's probably just like a weird glitch in that side-scrolling, like, camera, but, man. I'm glad I, I got it done. All right, what else do I got? Destroy the dark eco, explore the dark cave, scout flies. Got three more scout flies to get, which I know at least one is up. In the, uh... Spider cave. I'll have to go get it at some point. Now I gotta figure out how to blast these guys. These braxes. So, okay, how do I activate this? How do you... Wait, I have to get the blue eco, right? I gotta get Blue Eco to activate the pads. Say goodnight, Jack. Um, yeah, so I guess I gotta swing back with that. I need the boxes, and to do that, I need to activate this flame pad. Outlets? No, I need this so that I can destroy those boxes. I need to go to another level to do that. Man, that was a long time ago. I don't remember that. That was like several weeks ago. I'm saying, don't like be so upset at me about it. It's been a long time. do that in a bit, but first I want to at least accomplish a little bit more in the game. Uh, uh, no. There. Okay. Set back up. And I guess I just got forward with this. 
Well, to activate him in the forest, that was like the laser, wasn't it? the only one that's deactivated around here. Like, all the, the pads over in this part that keep working. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to get it from one of these. Back. Close enough, though. Ugh. Can't be it, then. Sometimes the timing is weird, because, like, blue eco goes out way faster than the red eco. Sometimes. But then sometimes the blue gives you, like, way more. It's just kind of dependent on the specific source. And it's never enough time. There's at least one spot here. Oh, okay. Ah. Sometimes he, he'll do it two or three times in one spinny. Two of them somewhere out in these caves. I gotta figure out how to do that pad. Maybe if I do destroy the dark eco crystal, it'll open it. Like that's blocking it or something? Egg. An egg. Alright, only 29 more egg to go. to the tunnel where the dark eco crystal is at. If I grab this, will I have enough time? I think so. I'm quite fast about it. Whoops. 
Uh, as long as I don't fall in the pit. Eh. Gosh, it's sweet. Boo boo lefu. No, what? Where am I? I wish the spawn points weren't so. weird. Because, like, it feels like, depending on which half of the stage you die in, it'll spawn you in two different places. And it rarely feels intuitive to where you were at when you died. So it's pretty easy to get turned around. All things considered. How do I get back up? Right, I got platforms. This might not even be the way to do this, but it's the only way I can really conceive. Okay, let me check my path. Careful. I have to fall down that pit again. Keep going. Get up. Get up. Those crates, at least. If I hadn't taken that fall damage, I probably would be able to get the eco crystal. So, just gotta figure out a better path down and just drop it. No, it's not gonna be able to do it for that. But I think maybe the dark eco crystal is blocking the uh, pad over there for the. Red ego, maybe? I don't know, that's my best guess. And I gotta get the dark eco crystal eventually anyways. That's one of the power cells, so... Oh, come on, get up, get up! Ugh, <sighs> okay. I mean, okay, I could take a break and do this, but then I'm only going to come back to, like, 15 more minutes. So, I'm just going to end this here. I mean, it's a Monday, nobody's watching anyways, but... If you are watching, thanks for that. Please follow, subscribe, use your Twitch sub. Follow me on Twitter, IggyDKid. YouTube, Iggy and the Ape. Check out the Twitch archive, it's linked down below on the browser version. Thank you for watching. Have a good week. You're a good kid. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.